Hey there, my name is Dimitri, and in this video, I'm gonna dive into how I have effectively taken the world that I live in in my business and automated so many parts of it you couldn't imagine. And not only automated it, but organized it in such a way that I have built out my second brain inside of Notion. Now, I'd like to thank Fathom AI for sponsoring this video. So first and foremost, I think that something really important to note is there is something super simple and effective about getting work done in an organized manner. And having a space that can organize everything you have is really important in order to get that work done. For me, I have a couple of key areas that I focus on inside of my second brain that I think will help you understand where I'm coming from with this. As somebody who goes on a lot of sales calls, it's not only important to do tasks, it's even more so important to organize the information that I'm receiving effectively. So inside of Notion, I have a task management system here that is really robust, where I essentially have everything that I could ever need. It's between my personal and my business life all in front of me. Now on this, you'll see that there's obviously the task section and there are other sections on the top here. This goes everywhere from between my personal tasks, my priorities and delegated tasks to other members of the team, and a very important section which is meetings. So I don't know if you know this, but unfortunately, there's actually no Notion to Google Calendar Sync that exists right now. So there's obviously Notion Calendar and that's great and all, but unfortunately, they're, essentially they're working in a world where it's sort of like just a layout adjustment to Google Calendar and it's nice or whatever, but it's not a real integration in my book. So I actually made my own amazing second brain where in this second brain, I have a real time, or well, every few hours, Google Calendar to Notion Sync. So if we take a look here at my calendar at this week, I can actually see everything that's going on. And inside of this specific section, you'll see there's a lot of different labels for things like INT and EXT. And if I scroll down, I have a client section meeting. Essentially, how does this work? I label everything EXT or INT based off of something very obvious. If it's external, as in a client call, it's labeled as EXT. If it's internal, it's labeled INT. And then on top of that, I also have discovery and sales calls. So if I type discovery call, it's a sales call that I have. And as you can see, there's a couple of those coming up this week. And there were some of them recently with companies like Otter AI and whatnot. And what's amazing about this is for any meeting, I can open it up after the meeting is over and I can actually see who is a part of the meeting. I can link out to the conference call and the event link. And there's even recording links added here, which saved me so much time because I could just click on that recording link and go to it. Now you may be asking, where can I get this recording link from? Well, as I mentioned earlier, the sponsor of this video, Fathom, is really helpful because I can take the time that I usually would spend searching for a link or even going into the platform and utilize an automation that I've built out in Fathom. So where can I actually get the recording links from? Well, lucky for me, Fathom is a tool that allows meetings to be recorded immediately. So this is a call that I had with a potential client, Olga, where she was interested in sponsoring a piece of content on my YouTube channel. And rather than needing to go into this interface and interact with it, I could actually take this the second that the recording is done and add it to my second brain via a really simple and easy automation. If I go into Zapier, there is a really great trigger here called new recording with Fathom. So all I have to do is log into my account. So after I sign into my account, I just have to authorize. Now you do need the premium plan or the Zapier team pro plan. But essentially, after there's a new recording, which I can use my meetings or team meetings, and I can test the trigger, essentially grab said meeting. And you'll see that there is a name of the meeting right here. It says Olga Aksiva meeting. What I then can do is in a notion module is do a very simple find database item now i just grab my database for my meetings and notes right and then follow up here to grab the database so let's grab that meetings and notes database and all that i'm going to do is simply grab the name i'll type olga so it's meeting title that's the name of it okay and we can do date if we want to so and the date would essentially be start time so we can do on or after let's grab the date from the meeting scheduled date all right so look at that it found the meeting so real quick you can actually just find it by typing url inside of zapier which is cool let's go down paste this out double check should be the same date there we go october 31st perfect it was like a 15 minute call great so in order to add this 
recording, all we need to do is simply go to update Notion module. So just type Notion again, and you're gonna add a update database item. And from here, we're gonna grab that database that I just did, so the meetings and notes one, and then grab the item that we just found. So in automations, you basically have to just attach the things that you find in the update module or create module steps that connect the two together. Okay, so let's just make sure we go here and press custom and utilize the ID. Always look for the ID right here. Now let's go to recording. Let's do recording URL. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Fathom and you'll see there's a recording share URL right here. So let's click on that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just press test step and in a moment, when it says success, and actually as it's doing success, I'm gonna just type on the top here, just call it new Fathom recording link, perfect. And I like to put Fathom and Notion just to signify what are the main apps that I'm using in there. So let's go to the meeting. Oh, look at that, Fathom.VideoShare is right there. And what is this? This is the recording. All you need a second brain is to have information connected, and this simply does it. At the end of every call now, once I press publish on this, what'll happen is you'll have the recording right there. There's other triggers in here where essentially I can change this from new AI summary. So when there's a new AI summary from a meeting, I could have it do the same thing, grab the summary and then update it into the summary property inside of this. You kind of have to pick and choose what you're interested in. I'm actually much more fine with clicking on it and checking it out if need be, or having the summary in my system. It's kind of a preference thing. But for me, as someone who's on a lot of sales calls, I need to have quick access to that information. And I find it easier to navigate to find the links in my own note-taking system in my second brain rather than just going to my browser all the time. So for me, this is the best solution to integrate notes, sales calls, all the stuff that comes from that into one complete place. So I'd like to thank Fathom for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for watching. And please make sure to use the link down below to try out Fathom today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.